Hi guys, it's Ryan K here and today we're going to be looking at uh, how to beefen up your lead sounds. This is definitely a bit of a beginner issue. Uh, most intermediate or especially higher level producers will know this trick. But a lot of the times uh, producers when they first start out, they'll have a lead in the breakdown and the breakdown, uh, the lead will sound nice, but it's missing some bass. Now they've taken the bass off because when the lead drops, there's too much bass, it interferes with the sub, etc. There's a few ways we can't get around this. So I just quickly whipped up a, a, a quick demo tracks. That's what it sounds like. As you can see, there's a lot of bass going on there in the lead. So if we listen to the lead on its own. It's off. So there's a lot of bass going on here, uh, which you might want to take out a bit or low shelf. But the issue when you do that, it makes it sound really thin on the breakdown. See, so it sounds a lot fuller with the bass in. It has a lot more body to the sound. There's a few ways I do it to get around this. Simply, like the first one's really quite simple actually. You can just automate the cue. Uh, so, uh, sorry, you can just automate the uh, the filter. So get an EQ and use it as a filter. That's what I do. So I've got Pro Q, uh, Pro Q 3 here. I've taken a little bit of the bass out. You can take more, it doesn't matter. Now all you have to do is automate the dry wet signal of the plugin. In FL Studios, you'd right click here, create automation clip. It'll cut uh, your uh, playlist. So you have the EQ not working, but not where the drops are on. And it slowly, or it depends, just mess about with it until how sharp you want the EQ to start working. This is one way to do it. It's a really smooth way of just transitioning the bass out of the lead to leave room for the bass on the drop. The second way I do this, I'd produce a sub just for the lead. So when in the breakdown and the build up, the sub's there, or you can take the sub out in the build up and just leave it in the breakdown. And then when it actually, uh, the drop happens, uh, take the sub out completely. Now it's so easy. It's probably one of the most easiest things to make. So all you have to do is, I'll, I made this before. Let's initialize it from start, scratch. Follow your bass pattern of the MIDI of the lead. I'll speed this up. Right, lovely. Now we've got a horrible sound in uh, the saw tone. So we'll want all of the low end of the saw tone. What I would do is drop it an octave. Two will do as well. It depends. One or, uh, minus one or two uh, octaves can do both. You just have to mess about until it fits your sound. I want no decay on the cutoff frequency so I'm going to take even though this is not routed yet I'm going to take this off for later on okay so now on the cutoff I want to basically just have the bass frequencies playing through I don't want to have the high end interfering with the leads so I'll put this down like this so there you go you've got a little bit of bass now I'll drop it down again in a octave There's a few more things you could do if you want. You can increase the attack slightly just so there's not a, a, a quick uh, transition between each note. So there's a, it takes a while to get up to the uh, full sustain of the uh, sound. In this case, I'm not going to. Now we have to beefen the sound up uh, a bit. So I add some distortion with some compression here on X Comp on here, the inbuilt compressor in Spire. Now I'm going to add some warm, gentle saturation to it. So the, the trick is you don't want to have it uh, affecting the high end. So I'm going to drop down uh, the high cut off so that it's only affecting the low. Add some drive and have a mess about until it sounds right. Right, 
Okay, so we're getting a sound sounding nice. Uh, there's a couple of more things you can do, just uh, change it around a bit. You can have the sub a bit, uh, have a few different, vo have different voices, so you can have it um, mono or poly, depends, it's up to you. So if you want to have it straight down the middle, uh, just providing bass down the middle of the, uh, the sound, it'd be like this. So mono. Now, if you want, you could spread the voices around a little bit and make the sound a bit wider. So let's just have a mess about. Let's try four voices, make it slightly wider. Okay, spot on. Uh, let's keep it like that. Now, a little bit of extra process on what I would do. Just pretend this is the sub, it doesn't say it, but you know. You could, if you want, again, if you want to make it completely mono, you could uh, get a plugin that has a mono uh, feature, so you could change it to mono. Um, I'm just going to keep it as a, a normal uh, stereo sound. Now, I'm also going to make sure the high end is taken off the top here, just to double check everything. Yep, everything's off. You can go even further if you want. Lovely. So let's get that out. Put on a separate channel. Pattern, sorry. Drop the volume. As you can see, it actually makes quite a massive difference to the sound. Now, also, another a, t a little tip regarding that, I would also probably bring down the volume uh, when you're getting towards the uh, the drop, because you want to lose a bit of the bass frequencies, because you want to have it, you want the drop to stand out a bit, so it doesn't just sound like it's gone uh, really bassy again with another bass sound. It's That's the, to create a bit of tension. Again, this is rough. You just do it roughly, like uh, then for your own track, do it how it sounds. Make sure you use your own ears to realize when you want to break that bass out. And there you have it, guys. A simple way to make your uh, lead sound a bit fatter and bigger. Um, it makes a hell of a difference. Make sure you're doing this. But yes, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a quick like and uh, subscribe because I'm doing a lot of videos like this. Just add on, I won't be doing my uh, Make the Trans track from scratch for about a month because I'm upgrading my PC, getting a better GPU because it's been a nightmare trying to record sometimes because it's um, when I add too much channels, the GPU is just not enjoying it for some reason. So it must be to do with the recording software as well with the... Uh, with the door so I'm gonna have to unfortunately I'm gonna have to give that a, uh, a month until we put that back in but again guys thanks very much for watching see you later